Hello everyone, doing another um, episode of uh, Recession Diaries for July 7, 2014, and I think I'm going to enjoy some a little bit of coffee while we're doing this, and hello Furball. Furball is happy and content because she had some wet cat food today, and uh, I have to get the thing that I'm going to talk about today is an experiment in a food recipe. This may look a little bit familiar, or maybe not, or some of the ingredients, like you can see the corn, and it looks like a piece of a potato sticking out. And you're right, it is potato, if that's what you thought it was, and that's corn. So what we have here today that I already had and it was delicious. So I guess the experiment was successful. I mixed in yesterday's leftover, which is about about a cup or more of grits, quick grits. And uh, the grits were just made out of water, grits, and a little bit of margarine. And I put the grits in, and then I also added in one can of sliced potatoes in water. And I also added in one cup of dehydrated corn. And I let it uh, simmer and heat on a low fire for about 15 minutes. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for the for this meal that I'm going to be having for the next. Oh, I also added in um, uh, cream of mushroom. One can of cream of mushroom. This may last almost two days. Who knows? I'm going to eat some today and tomorrow and probably stop eating at the end of the day tomorrow before I go to sleep. Um, we also got the, the mail today on July 7th from the White House. The, the mail is not for me, but it is for somebody in the family, so I will have to... Uh, Pray to God to uh, find a way arrange to arrange uh, me to hand this in personally to the person, um, and I guess we'll, we'll I'll have to ask God for God's help on how to work that out um, for a special member of our family. Um, but, uh, other than that, there's not, sh not much else going other than, uh, uh, the weather is partly overcast most of the day, um, with, with rain clouds, stationary, they're, they're not really moving anywhere. I would like to get out and, and mow the grass today, so I'll be... I'll be taking another look after this, after I post this video, I'm going to be looking outside to see if I can get the, the grass mode, uh, I doubt I'm going to be able to do it because, uh, I've been struck indirectly by lightning once before when I was on a full-time job and, uh, working as a, on a survey crew, did that job for five years, uh, creating digital terrain models uh, for uh, what we know now is GPS and uh, Google Maps and other brand name maps that are used on the internet. 
and on Android applications, smartphones, and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, but we were outside, and uh, it, it looked it, it was uh, very little clouds out, and the clouds formed within 15 minutes after we had already set up the the computer and the instrument to record data, and. Uh, we began to uh, record data into the electronic uh, computer and uh, small handheld computer, uh, other, otherwise known as uh, data entry in the professional working field, uh, using the proper terminology and all that. Um, but uh, so yeah, I was. Uh, I was holding a uh, device and uh, the boss was uh, about 20 feet away operating the computer at the time uh, um, and the lightning came out of nowhere hit the house beside us beside me it was about 10 feet away and uh, the after effects of the the surge went through me uh, but I was far enough away that I didn't get hit directly and I was lucky I didn't die if it would have hit me directly or, or the boss uh, we would have both have been dead um, but yeah we set up looked mostly clear but we were surrounded by trees so we did not see the clouds forming as we were setting up and <coughs> Began, began recording the data and uh, yeah yeah it it and the boss said that he felt it too so this strike was so powerful and he was about 30 feet 35 35 30 feet away I was only 10 feet away I, I felt it it went right I felt the power go right through me uh, it was so powerful that I felt it. It went through my whole body. Uh, but like I said, it wasn't the direct uh, strike itself. It was just whatever what was, you know, spreading out throughout the area of where it struck. But it was so powerful that I still got, and my boss got some of that power put through him. He felt it. He felt it going through his body. And that's just to demonstrate the the dangers and the power of lightning. Lightning is very powerful. If if you're if it's even a little overcast and something's a mile, a cloud is a mile away, that lightning strike can can still get you. So you know if if you if you think you can defeat the lightning, think again. Mother Nature. If she wants to defeat a, a, a human, she, she can do it anytime she wants. Um, the only thing I can say is be careful if you're out if you're out in the field uh, near lightning. It's it's very dangerous. Try to insulate yourself if you have no other choice. Just get as insulated as, as you can and and pray to God. You know if you're in the worst situation. But other than that, that's it for this recession diary. I hope you enjoyed the story and the experiment that I have here to survive what we know as the 2014 recession, which has been reported and documented and stated by our Florida Governor Rick Scott. If you enjoy the video, I would like to ask you to subscribe. It will allow you to receive notifications automatically whenever I make new videos. And if you like the video and you enjoyed it, leave a, uh, I would like to ask you to leave a like. Uh, also some comments, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching and have a good Monday in this month of July. I hope everyone had a good 4th of July, and uh, have a good day everyone.